Art Chick here. Welcome to my art class. Today we are going to work on silhouetted sunset forests. And these paintings are really fun because they're not only for children, but they're also for adults. So either can do it. This one on the right was done by myself, and this one on the left was done by my child helper. Uh, just follow my step-by-step -step process and have a great time doing this, and it will be a fun project to display in the future. For this project, you will need these supplies. Acrylic paints, acrylic retarder, a cup of water, paper towels, 11 by 14 watercolor paper, a strong paper or plastic disposable plate, a palette knife, a large square or rounded brush, a fine tip brush, and a pencil. We will begin by drawing a horizon line, also known as the line that separates the land from the sky. This is the only time you'll use a pencil during this project. Here's a closer look at the horizon line. Now for the paint. Squeeze out a dime-sized amount of each color, except for the white and black. You will need a quarter-sized amount for each of those. Now for the retarder. Apply a generous amount of this. You will need it to mix into each color swatch to make the paint slippery. That way it will spread further on your paper. Let's begin mixing. Grab your palette knife. Mix white and a little bit of yellow together. To paint a sunset, we will first paint the circle for the sun using white. Now we are going to mix a second shade of yellow. This one will use more yellow and a little less white. Mix those together, and then we'll have two swatches of yellow to use. Begin by painting the yellow around the white sun and then stroke the yellow back and forth. Now let's mix orange. Take a little bit of yellow and a little red and mix together. Don't forget to add more retarder to make your paint slippery. Now apply just above the yellow, stroking back and forth with your paintbrush. Add some strokes of yellow into your orange to look like clouds. Repeat the process with red. The further you move upward, the darker the shade. We will blend each shade into the next. Add strokes of red into your orange.
Can you see the beautiful sunset emerging? Let's deepen the red. I'm going to add just a hint of black to my red and then I'm going to stroke it across the top of the orange back and forth. Watch as I continue to weave the red into the orange, adding great contrast and texture to my clouds. Now let's clean our brushes. It's time to begin the blue. Mix the light blue with white and then begin spreading back and forth. Let's begin the dark blue now. This gets really exciting as we work upward into the light blue sky. In a light sweeping motion, I'm going to paint X's across my sky. Notice the long strokes that I take as I go about doing this. Adding strokes into the warmer colors will add dimension to your painting. Mix blue, red, and a little bit of white and then add purple to your sky. Yay, now for my favorite part, the black. Here we go. Now let's begin the trees. Using a fine tip brush, paint straight lines from biggest to smallest, tapering downward toward the sun and back up again on the other side. Once you've completed that, we can begin the foliage. Dip your fine tipped brush into the black paint and stipple lightly at the top and heavier toward the bottom while staggering your branches. And now for the finished product. Great job, you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time on The Art Chick.